Teens rescued after spending three days in Paris catacombs. Two teenagers learn the hard way why you're not supposed to venture into the restricted areas of the underground ossuaries in Paris. The catacombs underneath the city of Paris hold the remains of more than six million people. Enthusiasts of the catacombs, known as cataphiles, often illegally enter parts of the tunnels not open to the public via secret entrances. The two teenagers who were lost there spent three days in the dark and cold narrow passageways and developed hypothermia from exposure to temperatures as low as 15 degrees Celsius. They were found after Paris Fire Service officers used tracker dogs to locate them. Human remains were transported from the Cemetery of the Innocent to the catacombs in 1786, after the cemetery was closed due to overuse. Parts of the catacombs have been a tourist attraction since the late 18th century. Say no to safe spaces on YouTube. Support Tomo News at patreon.com slash Tomo News. Ancient architecture is fascinating, but be careful not to get lost. Mummies found after Egypt unearths new burial chamber. Egypt has discovered an ancient burial chamber containing at least 17 mummies that are more than 1,500 years old. Authorities hope the find will help boost the country's struggling tourism industry. The burial chamber was found in the province of Minya, about 250 kilometers south of Cairo. The chamber is 8 meters below ground and was first detected last year by radar. At least 17 fully intact mummies have been discovered inside the chamber so far. Experts say there could be more. Egypt's tourism industry has declined sharply from 14.7 million visitors in 2010 to just 5.4 million visitors in 2016. Authorities hope the new discovery will bring tourists back into the country. The Tomb of Christ is at risk of catastrophic collapse. The restoration project at the Church of the Holy Sepulchre in Jerusalem has recently been completed, but scientists warn that the church may still suffer a catastrophic collapse. The year-long restoration of the edicle in the Church of the Holy Sepulchre was completed on March 22nd. However, the restoration revealed that some portions of the shrine's foundation actually sit on the rubble from earlier buildings and unexplained tunnels and voids. Meanwhile, the foundation mortar of the structure has crumbled due to long-term exposure to moisture. To address the risk of collapse, scientists at the National Technical University of Athens are proposing a 10-month project that would cost 6 million euros. The project would involve removing the fractured foundation and installing a drainage system around the perimeter of the rotunda. Ancient Mayan temples, more than meets the eye. A hidden third temple has been found inside the Kukulkan Pyramid, one of the world's most famous ancient structures. Researchers used a 3D scanning technique called electrical resistivity tomography to find the 10 meter tall structure inside the temple of Kukulkan in Yucatan, Mexico. Also known as El Castillo, the Kukulkan is already made up of two other temples. They consist of a 30 meter tall external structure with another 20 meter tall pyramid inside of it. It is thought that the new structures were added to cover decaying ones or to welcome new leaders. Experts believe the third newly discovered temple within was constructed between the years 550 and 800. The structure was likened to a Russian nesting doll where you find another doll inside a larger one and so on. Except here we're talking about ancient temples hidden within ancient temples. Now how Indiana Jones is that? Say no to safe spaces on YouTube. Support Tomo News at patreon.com slash Tomo News. Pure Chance unearths Roman Villa from under English farmhouse. A British rug designer just wanted to lay electric cables to his barn so that his children could play ping pong inside. But in doing so, he unearthed what may be one of the biggest Roman villas in the United Kingdom. Workmen digging at a farmhouse in southwest England last year discovered a hard layer 18 inches below the surface that turned out to be pieces of a mosaic. Property owner Luke Irwin said he sent a photo of the mosaic to the local council. He told the New York Times that within 24 hours, a team of archaeologists were on his property. Archaeologists then began an eight-day dig at the farmhouse and in the field next to the house. Only a few test pits have been dug, but archaeologists say the existing walls seem to be more than a meter tall. 
The farmhouse appears to be sitting on a slab of marble in the middle of what was the Roman villa, which measured around 50 meters long by 50 meters wide and was probably around three stories high. A whole range of artifacts have been found on site during the excavation, including a child's tomb, oyster shells, brooches, animal bones, and coins, indicating the owners of the villa were wealthy. Artifacts from the dig have been taken to the Salisbury Museum while the dig has been covered up until archaeologists obtain more funding to do a proper investigation. Cambodia's jungle is hiding lost ancient cities. Ancient cities with complex urban landscapes have been found beneath the jungle in Cambodia by researchers using laser scanners. Archaeologists have discovered a vast network of previously undocumented medieval cities near Cambodia's Angkor Wat Temple. Using LiDAR scanning technology, the researchers found multiple cities beneath the jungle that were linked by roads and canals. The cities range from 900 to 1,400 years old and would have been part of the largest empire on Earth in the 12th century. LiDAR is a detection system similar to radar, which uses lasers instead of radio waves. It is used with GPS to produce 3D models and maps. A helicopter mounted with LiDAR scanned a 734 square mile area near Angkor Wat in 2015. The data revealed the true scale of the lost city of Mehendraparvata, which was previously believed to be much smaller. In fact, Mehendraparvata was about the same size as Cambodia's present capital of Phnom Penh. The scans show the ancient cities had sophisticated water management systems, built hundreds of years before it was believed the technology existed. Geometric shapes thought to be gardens were also discovered. Historians say the groundbreaking discovery will help us understand more about Angkorian civilization and the decline of the Khmer Empire. 